what's happening in the process between green beans and these yummy roasted beans? Let's find out. Throughout the roasting process, a number of chemical changes happen, giving rise to approximately 800 flavor and aroma compounds. We still don't have a clear understanding of all of these reactions because it can be difficult to replicate in a laboratory setting. But what we do know can be divided into two groups. Volatile and non-volatile are the two groups that the chemical components of roasted coffee can be divided into. The volatile components contribute mostly to aroma, while the non-volatile components contribute to some of the basic flavors that we associate with coffee, like sourness or bitterness. One example being caffeine, a non-volatile chemical component that is the major source of bitterness in your coffee. During roasting, the green coffee bean goes through a number of endothermic and exothermic phases. The first is an endothermic phase, meaning the energy is being absorbed in the form of heat. And at this point, the beans lose their moisture, turn from green to a soft yellow, and begin to smell bread-like. Plant compounds like chlorophyll begin to decompose as well. Next begins an exothermic phase where energy is being released in the form of heat, steam as it would be with coffee. Once the moisture in the bean evaporates into steam, it escapes by rupturing the cells, causing a loud crack, and then begins the next endothermic phase. In this phase, a lot of chemical changes begin to take place. The beans begin to develop the flavors and the aroma of coffee, and of course, they turn the rich brown color that we know as coffee. Carbon dioxide starts to build through complex pyrolytic reactions. When pyrolytic reactions plateau at approximately 410 degrees, another exothermic phase begins as CO2 and other various gases are released in another loud crack. And from here, the roaster would bring their coffee into the rapid cooling phase to stop this last exothermic state, either using air or water. Check out the Be More 1600 Plus Home Coffee Roaster Crew Review video that Gail did if you want to see this process in action. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.